You know, back in the early pioneer days, a lot of people didn't have access to yeast, baking powder, or baking soda for a leavening agent. Um, they often use wood ashes and mix it in with their dough. And that's what I have in this bowl right here. I want to try this out. It's just wood ashes, flour, and water. I tried this yesterday with just a little bit of wood ashes and it didn't do much. It was a very heavy, dense type of bread and I'll show that video here in a couple minutes. And in this bowl here, I have my regular bannock dough. It's got baking powder, salt, sugar, water. And uh, I'll be trying that out just in case this doesn't work again. Wood ashes actually have many uses. Uh, probably about 10 or 15 that I can think of. And it was also used for uh, salt replacement. They would sprinkle wood ashes on their food. Kind of has a bitter, salty taste. So I just got the wood stove going and I'm going to try this bread out again. So there are my two different doughs. I'm pretty sure you can tell which one has the wood ashes in it. It's about one cup of flour to one tablespoon of wood ashes. I'm going to try that out. I'm going to make my regular bannock dough first because I'm kind of hungry. So on the left here, I have my regular bannock dough with baking powder as a leavening agent. And on this side, I have my wood ashes. Now, as long as you're using just regular wood ashes and not any uh, charcoal bits, I think I might have got a few charcoal bits in my dough. It does nothing for the, the taste. You'd never know that there was wood ashes in it. It's all about the texture. This dough is uh, very light. And this is very heavy. It didn't really uh, rise too much. Helped a little bit. Maybe I'm just not doing something right. I'm not 100% convinced on this wood ash thing. Uh, in the description, I'll put some of the other uses I have for wood ashes. And I'll show that video of me making that sandwich. Some bacon and mushrooms and onions. Oh, my teeth.
Almost look like chicken breast. Uh, still pretty dense. Very heavy bread. I thought the, the wood ashes would make it a little bit lighter. Filling though. 